Okay, good morning, everyone. So, guys, now let's start here. <clears throat> I'm audible. Yeah, am I audible, guys? Everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's begin now. So guys, uh, when you talk about the everyone, so first of all, let me okay just give you a brief about myself. See, my name is Samir, and uh, I'll be your faculty for this Azure Data Engineering, and uh, I have around ten years of experience in IT. And when it comes to this, uh, you know, the cloud experience. I have around four plus years of uh, you know current experience in the cloud. Okay, so that's it about myself, and uh, let's start here. So, guys, when we talk about the Azure Data Engineering, everyone, what is Azure Data Engineering? So, guys, everyone, the Azure Data Engineering, everyone. Okay, so the Azure Data. Okay, uh, Azure Data Engineering. So Azure, uh, Azure Data Engineering, okay, Azure Data Engineering is nothing but, okay, is nothing but, Azure is the name used by the Microsoft, everyone, Azure is the name used by the Microsoft to market their cloud services, okay, Azure is the name used by the Microsoft to market their cloud services, okay, wherein, Okay, likewise, you have more supermarket. So more supermarkets, more supermarkets. So more supermarkets are owned by whom, guys, everyone? More supermarkets, no? it's owned by whom, everyone? So the more supermarkets is owned by the, yes, by the Birla, by the Birla group, am I right? By the Birla. So likewise, uh, okay, that means uh, the grocery stores is run, okay, is run by a name called, what is that? More by the Birla, that's it. In the same way, Azure is the name used by the Microsoft to market their cloud services, to market their, what is it guys? Cloud services. So Azure is the name used by the Microsoft to market the cloud services. Okay, so that is called as Azure. Whereas data, so what do you mean data, guys? Everyone, data is nothing but what? Information, okay? Data is nothing but what, guys, everyone? Information, so what is it? Information, data is nothing but what? Information. So when we talk about the, yes, when we talk about the data, okay, when we talk about the data, so data is nothing but what? Information and engineering. So what do you mean engineering, guys? Engineering is nothing but application of, Techniques. What is that? Application of techniques. So in broad, we can say that, okay, application of, everyone, application of is application of techniques on the data. Okay. Application of techniques on the data by using the Azure. By using what is it, guys, everyone? Azure. So hence, we can say Azure data engineering is nothing but application of techniques guys application of techniques on the data by using the microsoft azure that is nothing but azure data engineering whereas the azure data engineering is nothing but it is a bunch of it is a bunch of cloud services it is a bunch of what is it guys cloud services it is a bunch of cloud services means what you have multiple many services are there guys here you can't say products here you can't say products guys here you can say what is it only yes guys here you can't say products you can say only what is it guys services you can say what is that services so azure data engineering is a bunch of cloud services which is provided to perform the following jobs following jobs what is the jobs the first job is called as what guys data migration 
data migration then you have data integration then you have what is it data summarization okay and then you have what is it data visualization So guys, these are all the tasks we can perform it by using the Azure Data Engineering. So guys, the Azure Data Engineering is a bunch of, what is it guys everyone? Cloud services. And these cloud services are used to achieve the following tasks or following jobs. What is that? The first one is called as a data migration. And the second one is called as a data integration. And the third one, we call it as the data summarization everyone and the fourth one is called as a data visualization that's it okay so these are all the things we can do it here by using the azure data engineering by using what is it guys azure data engineering that's it okay so now guys first of all before we move ahead and discuss the things let us try to see first of all what is everyone what is a cloud and what is an on-premises? What is a cloud and what is an on-premises? So guys, it is very important for us to know what is a cloud and what is an on-premise. What is a cloud and what is an on-premise? Okay, it's very important for us to know, okay, what is a cloud and what is an on-premise? Okay, before we move ahead. Okay, so to understand this, let us take an example here, guys. Okay, so guys, everyone, so what is a cloud and what is an on-premises? So we will discuss one example here, guys. Everyone, we will discuss one example prior to that. So let's take an example of a mobile phone, everyone. So guys, we all have mobile phone. Am I right? Yes, guys. Do we use mobile phone or not? Hello? Guys, I want the session to be interactive. Okay, I don't want like you guys to sit like this okay please respond yes please tell me do you all use the mobile phones or do we all use the mobile phones or not everyone yes guys yes sir. yeah in fact we use the mobile phones in fact we use the mobile phone suppose whenever you buy a mobile phone okay or whenever you go to a shop to buy a mobile phone by default Whenever you buy a mobile phone, you will get a mobile phone with the inbuilt storage area, with the inbuilt storage capacity and processing speed capacity, such as if you say 64 GB, guys, 50, 64 GB is the memory and you can say 8 GB is the processing speed. That means what? This is the configuration of your mobile phone where you can store up to 64 GB as the data and 8 GB is the processing speed for your, yes, 8 GB is the processing speed for what is that? 8 GB is the processing speed, guys. 8 GB is the processing speed for your uh, mobile phone. That is the thing we can say. Am I right? But whereas when it comes to this, guys, everyone, when it comes to this, okay, whereas when it comes to, yeah, whereas when it comes to everyone, whereas when it comes to, suppose you have been to an excursion or some, okay, a party or somewhere where you have clicked some pictures where you have clicked some pictures but this pictures you have clicked it uh, using your uh, DSLR camera and now the question is that once you click those pictures now those pictures you wanted to guys those pictures you wanted to store in your mobile phone so in your mobile phone so whereas the total capacity of the pictures which you have clicked using that camera is 500 GB. How much? Now question is that, everyone, now question is that, can you store this 500 GB? Guys, now question is that, can you store this 500 GB into your mobile phone where the capacity is 64 GB? Yes, guys. That's the question. Everyone is understanding what I meant to tell you. Hello? Yes, guys. I'll repeat the question once again. Now you have been to a party or excursion or some marriage function where you have clicked some photos, where you have clicked some photos using the DSLR camera. And now, guys, and now the capacity of uh, 
the DSLR camera is very high. So you have clicked 500 GB data. Now, now question is that you wanted to store that 500 GB data in your mobile phone. Can you store this 500 GB data into your mobile phone? That's the question. Yes, guys. No, you sir. can't store it. You can't store it now. Why? If the capacity is very low. So now what is it what that you do? What is it you do? You will try to expand the memory. So how do you expand the memory here, guys? Tell me now. By adding an SD card that is called a scan disk card. So you try to install a scan disk card. Small chip will be there. So we will be installing that, guys, everyone. So we'll be installing that. And even if you install the scan disk, okay. Even if you install the scan disk, let us see how much. So you have given here 250 GB or let us say 200 GB. 200 GB capacity you have it, guys. Guys, yeah, what's that? 200. Yes, you have 200 GB is there. That means the total memory now after adding the SD card, after adding the SD card, now it has become what's it? 200 and this guy is 64 GB. That means you can store up to 264 GB here. Okay. But not beyond that. But not beyond the same guys. So now in this situation, now guys, now in this situation, now in this situation, can you store this 500 GB data into your mobile phone where your current, uh, you know, capacity of your mobile phone is 264 GB? Not possible. So that means it's of no use. You can store only what is that? 264 GB of the data. Rest of the data, 244 GB, you can't store it. Am I right? The balance 244 GB, you can't store it here. What is the alternative? In this case, what is the alternative, guys? Will you go and buy a, another mobile phone with a high configuration? If you go and buy another mobile phone with a high configuration, again, spending this much amount, that is all cumbersome process. Am I right? That will take much time. So now, in order to avoid that, what you do, guys, tell me now. Simply, yes, guys, simply you try to store the data. Yes, simply you try to store the data into the Google Drive. <clears throat> but, but when you store the data into the Google Drive, everyone, what is the default storage capacity of a Google Drive, guys? Huh? 15 GB. Huh? Tell me. 15 GB. Yeah, 15 GB. Very good. So 15 GB is it's not default. It is basically free. It is what? Free. So you can store up to 15 GB up to free, guys. 15 GB up to free. Okay, guys. 15 GB you can store up to free here, guys. Okay. So 15 GB you will store up to free. So with no issues. Or you can only store 15 GB. For free, but whereas if you want, guys, but if you want, you can store up to whatever the amount you want. That is nothing but this 500 GB, you can store it. But whereas, subject to which you have to make the payment here. Am I right? You have to make the payment. You have to make the payment here. You have to make the payment. <clears throat> whereas 15 GB is the free. 500 GB, you can store it, but subject to which you have to make the payment for this. Am I right? So if you make the payment, there is no default storage capacity. You can store up to, yes, guys, uh, 500, not only gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, whatever the volume of the data, we can store it. Okay. So now tell me, guys. Now, everyone. So you store the data into the Google Drive today here in India. Tomorrow you left for US. Can you access the data from US? You can, can you access the data from US after going to US? Can you access the data from the Google Drive, guys? Everyone? Yes? Yes. In fact, you can access the data without any physical device. That means you did not carry your device, but still you can access the data stored in the Google Drive. In fact, you can access the data. Without any issue, you can access the data without any issue. So, so we can say that we can access the data stored in a Google Drive or in a cloud memory from anywhere, okay, from any location, irrespective of the location, you can access the data. That is nothing but we can say, guys, that is nothing but the, yes, that is nothing but the <clears throat> advantage you have with the 
okay that is nothing but the advantage you have with the google drive am i right or not whereas <clears throat> when the data is stored in your mobile phone you forget to take your mobile phone with you can you access the data stored in the mobile phone tell me now without the physical device no not possible okay no not possible so whereas guys we can say that your mobile phone is called as what is that on premises whereas your this one that is called as what google drive is called as what is it guys cloud am i right so your mobile is called as what guys your mobile phone is called as an on premises wherein can you see here wherein <coughs> wherein the physical day if you don't have the physical device then you cannot access the data whereas when you talk about the what is it whenever you talk about the google drive guys you without the physical device you can access the data from any part of the world. Am I right or not? Whereas the second reason is, uh, who is responsible for the security of your data in your mobile phone? You have to take care about the security of the data, guys. Am I right? You have to take care of the security of the data. No one is uh, else is responsible for your security when you store the data into the mobile phone. If you store the data into the Google Drive, who is responsible for the data security, guys, everyone? Who is responsible for the data security? Ultimately, the Google. Am I right or not? Google is going to take care about the security of your security. Google is going to take care about the security of your uh, security of your data. Am I right? Security of your data. So security of your data is the responsibility. Security of your data is the responsibility of the Google. The third reason, guys, what is that? Accessing. So you can access the data from any part of the world without having a physical device, without having a physical device. So these are some of the reasons why we go with the, yes guys, why we go with the cloud storage than storing the data onto the ARM premises. So in broad, I can say cloud is nothing but, what is it guys? Cloud is nothing but the Google Drive, everyone. Cloud is nothing but the Google Drive. And whereas ARM premises is nothing but your mobile phone. Am I right? So that's it. Everyone is clear with the <clears throat> on premises and the cloud, guys. Everyone, please respond. Yeah, everyone is clear with this. Okay, so yeah. now the next one. Yeah, so now the next one, guys. Okay, the next one after this. Okay, everyone. So, first of all, now as an individual users. As an individual user, you and me, everyone, we are trying to store the data into the Google Drive rather than storing the data into the mobile phone. Am I right? Is the sentence correct, guys? Are we trying to store the data into the Google Drive rather than storing the data into the mobile phone? Yes, guys, everyone. In fact, that is true. In fact, that is true, guys. Aren't an individual? We all are individuals. Okay. So here, here uh, on the individual front, we always prefer to store the data. Yes, guys, on the individual front, so we always prefer to store the data. Yes, we always prefer to store the data onto the, yes, guys, we always prefer to store the data. We always prefer to store the data onto the Google Drive rather than storing the data in your mobile phone memory. Am I right? So whereas whenever you move the data, from your mobile phone memory, from your mobile phone memory, whenever you move the data from your mobile phone memory, guys, everyone, whenever we move the data from your mobile phone memory, huh? whenever you move the data from your mobile phone memory, guys, whenever you move the data from your mobile phone memory, huh? whenever you move the data from your mobile phone memory to the Google Drive, this process is called as the process of what is it, guys? data migration this is called as a process of what data migration okay so here you have what's that data migration so what do you mean by data migration data migration is nothing but it is a process guys data migration is nothing but it is a process where we move the data from your existing mobile phone or the local storage memory, even in your computer, local storage memory towards that Google Drive or the cloud data. 
okay cloud data guys or the cloud data so this process is called as what is that guys this process is called as what data migration so all of you must be clear what is data migration am i right everyone hello yes, yes guys okay so now the next one what is that you have it the next one you have it here as guys everyone the next one you have it as what data integration so what is a data integration okay let's try to see this data integration here you have what's that data integration so what is data integration so before we understand what is a data integration let us take an another example guys everyone let's take an another example now here the question is that you wanted everyone you wanted to cook okay let's say guys i'll take a generalized example not a technical example so that everyone okay who sits here should understand okay so guys here you have that a generalized example i'll take it here okay so here we have words that can you see here we have words that everyone uh suppose guys everyone suppose here you have words that uh you wanted to guys suppose here you want everyone you have been to the reliance fresh reliance fresh so now guys reliance fresh is a supermarket which is into providing of what is that which is into providing of what is that guys which is into providing of everyone reliance fresh is a supermarket which is into providing of reliance fresh is a supermarket which is into providing of what is that fresh vegetables now tell me if you go to the reliance fresh if you go to the reliance fresh everyone if you go to the reliance fresh how many type of vegetables will be there yes everyone how many type of vegetables will be available there yeah everyone one or two or many vegetables yeah pardon me many. Many obviously vegetables vegetables. that means you can't okay many vegetables so you can say guys many vegetables will be available whenever you go to the reliance fresh supermarket so i can say the following okay guys the following are the vegetables we can have it that is nothing but let us say vegetable number one and let us say vegetable number one is imported from what is that uh madhya pradesh mp and madhya pradesh is a part of india now guys i can say madhya pradesh india and the second vegetable is uh, imported uh, towards uh, from Jammu and Kashmir. And this is also called as what? It is a part of India. <clears throat> Where let us say the Reliance Fresh is located in Mumbai, everywhere. The Reliance Fresh is located in Mumbai, guys. Okay. The Reliance Fresh is located in Mumbai. Okay. Let's say the Reliance Fresh is located in the Mumbai. Okay. So mm -hmm. here you have that Again, the third one. You have it, the third one. Let us say this vegetable is uh, imported from tamil nadu and tamil nadu is a part of india and then you have guys fourth one uh, you can say uh, here you have what's that malaysia this vegetable is imported from the malaysia okay and uh, i'm not mentioning the name of the vegetable simply i'm giving you the country's name okay so the next vegetable is imported from okay uh, uh, uh that is nothing but uk that is called as united kingdom i'm writing it in short uk and guys okay uk okay and the next uh, vegetable number six is imported from the united states of america usa and uh, then you have the next vegetable okay uh it's from europe etc and uh, you have a eighth vegetable let us say this is uh, from <clears throat> punjab and punjab is what is it india only no? yes guys punjab is also india so now these many vegetables let us say so let us say here totally you have 100 100 vegetables guys how many vegetables are there 100 vegetables are there but these vegetables are cropped and cultivated at different locations am i right or not everyone yes guys okay these 100 vegetables are cropped and cultivated at different locations 
at what is that different locations these vegetables are cultivated and cropped at different locations guys these vegetables are cultivated and cropped at different locations but made it available for sale yes guys made it available for sale in what is that reliance fresh mumbai reliance fresh mumbai reliance fresh what is it guys mumbai reliance fresh mumbai so now guys reliance fresh mumbai that means these vegetables are made it available in reliance fresh mumbai these are available at what is that reliance fresh mumbai okay guys reliance fresh mumbai these are made it available in what is that reliance fresh mumbai guys reliance fresh mumbai that's it okay so now guys reliance fresh mumbai these are made available in what reliance fresh mumbai so now everyone so guys actually the reliance fresh is based in mumbai but it has imported the vegetables from various part of the world or various part of india both you can say various part of the world and various part of india so like can see so we can say what is that guys the vegetable number one is imported from madhya pradesh which is in india and made it available for sale in mumbai and uh, the vegetable number two is imported from jammu and kashmir and made it available for sale in mumbai the, uh, the third vegetable is made it available for sale in tamil nadu and it is available in what is that guys uh, for sale in mumbai this is in malaysia that means the vegetable number four is imported from malaysia and here it is available for sale in mumbai and uh, <clears throat> fifth vegetable is uh, cultivated and cropped in uk and made it available in mumbai likewise all the vegetables are cultivated and cropped at different locations made it available for sale in mumbai for what for facilitating the customers am i right for the facilitation of the customers or the facilitation of the consumers for the facilitation of the customers as well as the facilitation of the consumers guys the reliance fresh has imported guys the reliance fresh has imported their vegetables from various locations am i right or not everyone yes for facilitating the customers only yes guys for facilitating the customers for facilitating the customers the reliance fresh has imported the vegetables from various locations and made it available for sale ah made it available for sale in mumbai am i right or not everyone yes but whereas this vegetable number 4 it is very cultivated and crop it is cultivated and crop in malaysia this vegetable number 5 it is cultivated and crop in what uk and this vegetables is cultivated and crop in united states of america and this one it is cultivated crop that means okay grown in what is it europe am i right but available for sale in what in india mumbai am i right or not so whereas here what we are doing it Uh, the reliance fresh is getting the vegetables from across the globe and making it available making it what is that guys making it available making it what is that available for the sale making it available for the sale in mumbai am i right or not so this is called as the process of what guys this is called as the process of what integration it is called as a process of what integration am i right or not integration so integration is nothing but collecting the same from various locations and making it available for the okay uh, making available for the sale at particular place for the facilitation of the consumer is called as what yes guys is called as what integration if the same thing you apply it on the data guys when the data is in madhya pradesh or jammu and kashmir tamil nadu malaysia united kingdom united states of america europe punjab etc from various locations you have the data and you're gathering the data guys you're gathering the data and keeping it in mumbai keep keeping it in mumbai so this will become what is that guys data integration this is called as what data integration so we can say what is that guys data integration we can say what is that guys data integration that's it we can say it as what data integration so now here we what is that we have done guys can you see here we have already discussed here data migration what is data migration moving the data from what is that on premises to the cloud 
and data integration we have done it what is it data integration getting the data from various locations and keeping it at a place okay for the facilitation of the user is called as data integration now guys the next one is called as what data summarization everyone are you there guys please respond everyone following now yes yeah what about rest of you everyone <clears throat> yes sir okay ma'am next what is a yeah please tell me now guys data summarization what is data summarization i'll take another example here or let us take same example now guys everyone can you see here you have all the vegetables how many guys i'll take a same reliance fresh example here i'll take a same example for the data summarization also i'll take the same example guys so you have the reliance fresh etc and now now the task of the day what is the task you have to do here is guys everyone you have to cook you have to cook a veg curry guys you have to cook a veg curry what is it you have to do you have to cook a veg curry everyone you have to cook a veg curry okay so when you wanted to cook the veg curry tell me now you have been to the reliance fresh supermarket so the reliance fresh supermarket has all together 100 different type of vegetables how many guys everyone 100 different type of vegetables are there but now my question is that are you going to buy all those 100 vegetables at a time or not or you will buy only those vegetables which is required for cooking your curry everyone i'll repeat the question once again guys my question is that in the reliance fresh supermarket you have 100 vegetables are there but to cook a veg curry you have to cook only one veg curry for cooking this veg curry do you require all to buy all the 100 vegetables or you will buy only those vegetables which is required for you uh, for your for cooking the curry tell me now guys we will only buy only required vegetables you will buy only those vegetables which is required yes guys you will buy only those vegetables everyone you will buy only those vegetables which is required for cooking your curry for cooking your what is that curry so let us say you have what is that you have done guys can you see here out of all the vegetables 100 vegetables you have choosed the vegetable number one vegetable number three and vegetable number six so i can say three vegetables guys you have you took how many vegetables here guys three vegetables you took how many vegetables guys three vegetables you took it okay out of all the vegetables you took only three vegetables so now guys can you say this process of choosing the vegetables as selection of vegetables guys can you say this process of choosing of vegetables is called a selection of vegetables can we say it yes in fact we can say selection of vegetables that means choosing the list of vegetables which is required choosing the list of vegetables which is required guys choosing the list of vegetables which is required from the list of all the hundred vegetables now you have choosed it you have you made them build everything is done now guys and once you have built them so you bought them home so after getting them home Will you start eating them in the raw form, guys, or some process is needed? Please tell me. Yes, everyone. So process is needed. Sir. Yes, some process is needed. What is that process? What is that process, guys? So for for that, first of all, we will use it cleaning, cleaning of vegetables, and we use washing of vegetables, cleaning or washing, whatever you say, and then you have what's that? Cutting of vegetables. And then we can say chopping of vegetables. Then we can say, guys, cleaning, cutting, chopping. Okay. Then the next one is what is it? You have it cooking. Am I right? So because as a human, we don't eat the eat the raw vegetables. We require to perform all this process: cleaning, washing, cutting, chopping, cooking. So once it is done, finally, what you will do, guys? Once the cooking is done. So the after once the cooking is done, what happens here? 
uh, once the cooking is done, what happens here? Uh, the veg curry will be ready here. Veg curry will be ready here, everyone. The veg curry will be ready here, everyone. The veg curry will be ready. And now you will start eating this veg curry. You will start eating this veg curry. Am I right? This is the final layer. Eating is the final layer. Am I right or not? So now, guys, here you have what is that, everyone? Selection of vegetables. Then you have what is that, guys? Cleaning, cutting, chopping. So can you say this process as, guys, transforming of vegetables? Yes, in fact. Why? Because, can you see here? Transforming of vegetables. What is that? Transforming of vegetables. Why do we call it transforming? So transforming here we call because you're changing the form of the vegetables from the raw form to what is that? Cooked form. So we can say what is that guys? Transforming of vegetables we can say. And the final layer is what is that guys? You have it? Yes. Final layer is what is that? Ah, uh, Final layer is what we can say here as what guys? Final is eating now. So we can say loading. Loading. That's it. Okay. So here in this process we have what is that? Selection, transform, and load. In the same way, <clears throat> instead of this veg, vegetables and curry, if I replace the same with the data, guys, if I replace the same with what is that? Data. What happens here, guys? If I replace the same with the data, what happens? This selection of vegetables is called as what? Extraction. Extraction of data. <clears throat> Extraction of data. And then you have what transforming, guys, transforming of vegetables is called as what transformation of data, transformation of data, transformation of data. Okay, guys, then the next one, what is that you have it? Uh, final layer is loading now. So this loading is called as what, guys, everyone? The loading is called as loading of data. So, whereas in short, we can say, guys, this process is called as what? E ah, uh, T finally is what, guys? E T L. Am I right, everyone? E T L. This is called as what? Extraction, transformation and loading. So, whereas using of this E T L is called as the process of what is that, guys, everyone? It is called as a process of what? Data summarization. It is called as the process of what is it, guys? Data summarization. Data summarization. So now, guys, how many things we have seen here already? Yes, guys. The first one we have seen, what is that, everyone? The first one we have seen, what is data migration? And then we have seen what is data integration? And then we have seen what is that data summarization. Everyone is clear with this? Now, guys, the next layer, final layer, what is that you have it? Data visualization. What is that? Data visualization. What is data visualization? Now I will tell you. Okay. So guys, now the data visualization is left out. So let us try to see what is a data visualization. So here you have what's that data visualization, guys. So we can say what is a data visualization. So when we talk about the data visualization, when we talk about what is that, guys? data visualization so data visualization is nothing but this is the final layer guys this is the everyone this is the final layer guys this is the final layer guys okay so this is the guys everyone this is the final layer guys what is it this is the final layer of the uh data where visualization is nothing but here the data visualization is nothing but suppose i'm taking an example here guys here you have it you now here you have it, the same data of the Reliance Fresh will take, okay. Now that directly here you have a sales information is there. What is that? Sales information. And now the sales information is given like this here. So date of sales, everyone, date of sales, DOS, date of sales is given as what is that? 22nd of August 2024. And you can say, guys, okay, I can say sales 
amount let us say 20000 or 2 lakhs let us say and then you what is it 21st of august 2024 here you have what is it guys 4 lakhs is the sales amount in the same way 20th of august 2024 here you can say 6 lakhs that's it now guys this is your data now next next question is what the next question 23rd of august 2024 is what can you see here first of all now there is a question here what is that first of all you will have to decide here guys first of all you will have to decide here which day sales is more can you tell me which day sales is more here out of all these which day sales have which day has more sales everyone hello 20 august 20th August, that is 6 yeah, lakhs. 20 August, right. Yeah, 20, 20th of August is 6 lakhs. Am I right? It's very high. So, here you have, guys, here you have only 3-4 lines. You are, you are able to tell it very manually, guys. Very in uh, Just by looking into the data, you can see. If you have like data like this, if you have data like this, that means the data in some hundreds or thousands of rows. Can you see this manually and tell so what is the, you know, uh, which day has the more sales? Can you take, can you tell it like this? Yes, please tell me. If a very massive amount of data is there. Can you tell it manually? Yes, guys. Can you say it manually? Hello? No, we, uh, yeah, we, can't. we can't say it. Yes, we can't say it manually. That means you have to compare one line with the second, the first line with the second line, second line with the third line, third line with the fourth line, and check all the values. If you have 1,000 rows like this, you have to check all the 1,000 rows. And finally, you have to come to an abbreviation or finally, you have to come to conclusion that this day sales is, guys, this day sales is more and this day sales is less. So you can say like this. But for that, here you require the technological support. So for that, to evaluate, to find out which day sales is more, we require to perform the comparative study from one line to second line, second line to third line, third line to fourth line like that. This is called as the process of what? Data analysis. It is called as a process of what? Data analysis. Now, guys, the next one, what is it? You have, it? have to find out what is the once a data analysis is done, now you have find it out what is the sales you have it. Then you have what is it, guys? The next one, 23rd, 08, 2024. Now you require to find out what would be the expected sales you have it. So when you wanted to know the future sales, this is the future sales you wanted to know. Am I right? This is the future sales. That means whenever you wanted to know the future sales, because 23 is future for us or present for us, guys. Please tell me. Everyone? 23 is future for us or present for us, guys? It is future. Am I right? 23 of August. What is the date today, guys? 22nd. Na? Yes, 23 is what? Future for us. So now, when you have future for us, we can say, what is that, guys? This, whenever you wanted to find out the future. So the future is predicted. The future is predicted based on the today and yesterday's scenario. That means based on today's and yesterday's performance, the future is predicted. The future is predicted. Am I right? So whereas this kind of, then this process of predicting the future, this type of predicting the future is called as what? Data science. Data science. So whereas <clears throat> data analysis, data science, can you see here? Data analysis and data science, everyone. Data analysis and data science all together, this is called as what, guys? Yes, data visualization. Yeah, it is called as a process of what? Data visualization. <clears throat> so here, as a part of our course, guys, everyone, we are going to see all this. That means 
the azure data engineering includes the four what is that data migration data integration data summarization and data visualization that means right from starting of the data till the part of the ending of the data is called as what guys data visualization that is nothing but from starting from data migration to data visualization so all of this we are going to see as a part of this course guys okay and the duration of this course would be 100 days guys okay the duration of this course would be 100 days and the uh, standard you know the timings for this will be uh, the same that is called as a 8 o'clock you will have it okay we'll continue 8 o'clock standard timings okay so 8 to 9 will have a standard timing guys okay so uh, that is our timing and uh, apart from this uh, when it comes to this uh, services so guys we are going to see the service called adf here in this we are going to see the service called guys everyone uh, adb azure databricks databricks with PySpark we are going to see and we are going to see the service called what synapse and uh, then we have the uh, fabric the fabric all this we are seeing the introduction of this fabric open ai fabric and what is it you have it azure open ai so these are all the services we are going to see it here as a part of this course okay so the timings is a standard 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock and the session we are going to start it from tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock guys that's it okay uh that's it for this and uh, any other questions if you have you can just get back to me okay so i'll just give you my direct number as well okay guys those who are interested you can just call me you can discuss the things okay so this is my local number So guys, you can just call me up here. So, and we can discuss the things accordingly, okay? If you want it, okay? So this is my number, direct number, everyone. So you can have a look on this, okay? And if you have any doubt, you can just ask me. Yeah, please, any doubt, guys? The job market of Azure is very good, right? Everyone, I'm just pasting my number here, okay? So guys, the job market is very good in uh, Azure because uh the cloud providers mostly the trend is going on for the cloud okay uh and whereas uh, when it comes to this uh, cloud provider azure is the best and booming cloud provider right now in the market which has everyone okay uh the market is good you can say in fact okay so that's it uh and what about the rest of the things okay but here actually you need to know the complete data engineering part that is ADF and ADB to get a job here. That's the important factor because <clears throat> the usage in the project right now, it is like that only. Some of them are using this in a different way and some of them are using it in different ways. That means the project I'm talking about. Someone, because previously we used to have only ADF, we used to get a job. ADB, we used to get a job. But now the scenario is not like that, okay? So we have the scenarios different around it, okay guys? So that's it for the day now. Okay. And uh, any other questions apart from me, uh, you can just tell me. Yeah, please. Uh, so what we re uh, required to be learned uh, for this one? So any basic knowledge like a Python or something to complete Python this? Uh... Is needed. Yeah, Python is needed. PySpark is needed. But all those things I'll take care in the as a part of our course. You need not worry on this. Okay. So how long is going to take this uh, course, entire course? Huh? How long it will be take to be complete? Almost all four months. Four months. Okay. So what is the full stack actually? Uh, I see like a full stack uh, this course name, so right? All the services on one platform. Okay. So just like a uh, data engineering, right? Yeah, it's data engineering only, no? Okay. okay. So that's it guys. So, okay. For the day and any other questions apart from this, if you want, you can just ask me. Okay. You can call me Hello. up guys. Hi, Hi sir. Uh, I have one doubt. Uh, right now I am working on a, a Oracle uh, data warehouse side, uh, business intelligence. I am, I am aware of this integration and uh, visualization. I just want to switch the technology. So is it uh, good for me? Um, 
so you wanted to switch the technology that's it, that you can do it in two ways the hmm. first way is that you can put up the same thing with azure experience because with this training you can uh, do it up that's not a big deal and uh, the next thing is what uh, you can put it as a fresher as well but you cannot expect good package on the same